to my channel or hi hello if you are new here today i'm going to be giving you guys five stocking stuffers ideas for girls so all of these products that i'm going to talk about are super inexpensive and they all cost under ten dollars so that is an amazing deal i personally believe that you don't have to spend a lot of money on someone to give them a meaningful gift so yeah this doesn't necessarily have to be a stocking stuffer either this could just be a small little something that you wanted to give someone so let's just go ahead and get right on into it Let's start out with the very first thing that I love to receive it for Christmas, and that is makeup. So, this one product right here, this kind of tips the $10 budget a little bit because it is $8, and I feel like that's a little bit overpriced for this product. This is just an eyeshadow primer, and this is the nude matte eyeshadow primer from Ulta Beauty. It is a little bit tinted, so... Um, it does a really good job at concealing the veins on my eyelids, and it's very, very tacky, so it clings onto shadow wonderfully. I really do like it. You just need a tiny little bit of this, and it goes a long way. I used to use way too much of this stuff, but then I eventually learned that only just a little teeny tiny dot will get the job done. I really do like this a lot, and you can get this at Ulta, obviously. And then the next thing that I have to talk to you guys about, and this is super inexpensive. These are only $3, and these are the e.l.f. moisturizing lipsticks. These feel like you have a chapstick on your lips. They're super creamy, they're super smooth, and they're super buttery. I am wearing the shade Ravishing Rose, which is just a really pretty brick red color. And this is perfect for this time of the year. And then I have a nudie pink color, and this is in the shade Pink Winks, and this is just what that one looks like. I use this one a lot in the springtime. They have colors in this line to fit everyone's style and taste. They have nudes, they've got pinks, reds, they've even got a black, so if that's your thing. These are amazing, and I highly recommend them. And then if you don't want to get them any makeup, but you still want to get them something beauty related, you could always get them some type of a beauty tool. You could get them a new brush, or you could get them a new eyelash curler. This one is also from e.l.f., and this is only a dollar, and I got this at Target. I've had mine for years, and I love it, so I highly recommend this eyelash curler. It's a metal, and it's really withstood the test of time. Like I said, I've had it for a few years, and it's all good. And then you could also get them a new makeup sponge. You're supposed to replace your sponges every few couple of months. And you can get amazing sponges at the drugstore. You can also get, find them at really good and expensive places like dollar stores and just different things like that. And giving someone a makeup sponge I feel like is a really good gift. Because when they need to replace their sponge, they can just pull out the one that you give them. And they don't have to go out and buy a new one. Something that I feel is very personal to give someone is fragrances, whether that be a body mist, a candle, whatever. I have two travel-sized Bath & Body Works body sprays right here with me. These are super affordable. They're only $6, and I highly recommend getting someone the travel size bottles because these are very easy to throw in your purse, and you don't have to worry about it rolling around in your bag like you would the big bottles. I really do like these a lot. I have the Scents Beautiful Day and A Thousand Wishes. I also have a couple more back here behind me on my little tray, but I really do enjoy these a lot. A Thousand Wishes just smells really good, and this is a really good scent for this time of the year because it just feels, smells really fancy, and I really like it. I'm really bad at describing scents, but this one's amazing. And then Beautiful Day is just a really beautiful, florally body mist and this isn't everyone's cup of tea but i love it it smells so floral yet so clean so i definitely recommend getting them a bath and body works body spray something else that i feel like is really personal to give is jewelry and this is probably the cutest charm bracelet ever this just has unicorns on it and you can get this at claire's for $9.99, so this is tipping the $10 budget, but I really do love this bracelet a lot, and this is perfect for the unicorn lover in your life. Something else that I feel like is a really cute and definitely unique idea out of this whole group of presents is giving someone some little notebooks and some little pens. They could keep these in their purse, and they definitely could write down their notes and stuff, 
in these in case like they forget things easily. These cute little composition books came from Target and I got these in the dollar bin when school was starting back earlier this year. Even though I don't go to school, I grabbed these because they were just too cute. But anyway, and I actually really do like these. I actually do write down notes in these myself. I actually write down video ideas in this one. And then in this one, I just keep random stuff in it. But I thought this would be a really cute idea. And if you can't find these exact ones, you definitely could find something very similar. All right, and then last but certainly not least is that you could always give someone some new cell phone accessories, which I love to get as well. Something that I don't have with me that I do actually want really badly for Christmas is a pop socket. I'll insert a picture over here of what it looks like, but it's just this little thing that kind of like clamps onto the back of your phone. And when you're watching videos and stuff, like it kind of works as like a little tripod or whatever because you can prop your phone up with it. And I want one of those so bad because they're so cute. But another cute little idea is you could give someone a selfie stick. And I've had this one for a while now. I don't exactly remember where this one came from or how much I paid for it, but you definitely could get someone a selfie stick if they love to take selfies. This one's really cool because it has a little plug and you plug this into the headphone jack of your iPhone or any phone and then it has this little button right here that you press when this is plugged in and it'll like take the pictures and it's just really cool and this actually extends pretty far and it's a little hard for me to do so bear with me but that's about how far it will go and then you can bend this and you can just take your selfies and look really ridiculous in public. Um, although I would warn, don't give this to someone who travels a lot because I actually read somewhere the other day where they're actually banning these from a lot of places because they can be pretty dangerous in some situations like at theme parks with rides and stuff because people was complaining at like theme parks that people was like getting whacked in the back of the head with these because people are just being stupid and like trying to take pictures of themselves and stuff. So... I definitely would not give this to someone who travels a lot and goes to a lot of theme parks because then they can't use it. But this is a really cool idea in general. And then you could always get them a iPhone case. I don't know where this one came as well, but I thought this would be a really cool idea if you have someone that you're buying for that loves their phone and loves phone cases. You could get them a really cute one. And then you could also get them some new inexpensive headphones. I'm always needing new headphones because I'm always breaking them because I'm super clumsy and I'm always listening to music and like watching videos and I use these when I edit. I especially love the ones that have the little microphone because I use these whenever I do the voiceovers in my videos. So that is all of my ideas. Alright everyone, so that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!